Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. Today we're going to do an introduction and explanation walkthrough on the new Top Don T120A. This unit is designed for a variety of battery charging and maintenance functions. We're going to walk you through each of those in just a moment. So we're going to show you just a little bit of the hardware here. Uh, now the unit does come with two cords for plugging into the wall for the U.S. region. Uh, you do have a 20 amp circuit, 110, 120 volt. This is designed when you're going to run higher currents to the T120A. So above 80 amps, you should use this plug and make sure that your breaker is a 20 amp. You may pop the breaker if you are running a higher current output on the T120A and not using the appropriate cord or at least a 20 amp breaker. So again, make sure to select the correct cord appropriately. Uh, with the unit, we also have the option of a two, uh, two meter or a five meter cord. Uh, it's roughly six and a half feet in US terms, right? <laughs> or uh, 16 feet if we're talking about the longer one. Now the cables do have a setting in the unit itself uh, that you need to change depending on if you're using the shorter or the longer ones. Uh, the unit compensates for the voltage drop that normally occurs based on the length of the cord. Uh, the other thing you do want to keep in mind with respect to that is they are interchangeable and you can use both cords with the same unit, which is obviously convenient. And uh, all you have to do is make that setting change in here. So let's go ahead and walk through the menus on the screen and we'll show you all the various operations that are available uh, for this unit. Of course, it does also come with a manual and make sure you do read the manual in detail before using the unit. All right, so now we're gonna walk you through all of the menus on the screen and we're gonna go through them one by one and just show you each option and the specific functions for each of those menu choices. So the first one we're gonna walk through is work mode. Work mode has a number of different options. There are standard charging modes for different chemistries. So inside lead acid, you will find a setting for both normal and AGM. If we go back out using our little backslash home button, it lets us go back to the root of the menu there. Uh, we also have lithium iron phosphate, which is designed for charging those batteries. We also have a custom mode. Now you're gonna to wanna to read the manual uh, if you're going to set up custom mode. There are a number of different parameters that you can change. And then the last option, which we're gonna demonstrate first is supply mode. Supply mode is gonna be used for programming, uh, coding, relearns, ADOS calibrations, anything that requires a stable voltage supply while performing that operation, typically with the key on, engine off, is what we will use supply mode for. Now, when we're setting up supply mode, we do have two choices. We have a three volt or higher or a zero volt. Now you're like, what's that for? If the battery you're connecting to is below three volts, then you wanna select zero volts. We have a voltage display over here on the right that warns us where we're at. So you can see this battery is at zero volts. So we're gonna to wanna to select the zero volts or again, below three volts would qualify here. And then we're gonna hit okay. And then we can set the voltage we want the charger to maintain for as long as we're gonna operate the charger. We can also then set our current limit after we hit OK. And we can go up or down all the way up to 120, or we can go way down. We're just gonna set it at 90 as we don't need that much current since this is not hooked up to a vehicle currently. We're gonna hit OK. And you can see now it's switched on. You can see how many amps are being pushed. If we hit the start stop button, it will shut off. We hit it again, it'll turn back on. So again, supply mode is going to show us everything live. 13.5 is our output, which is what we set it to. And it'll show us how much current is being pushed to that given battery. And it'll also tell us the on time as well as the power, which is a logging of how much power or watt hours have been pushed into the battery for the duration of the uh, voltage supply mode operation. So now let's go back. We'll hit our start stop button and we'll go back. And now we're gonna show you the other menus here. So we just keep hitting back. And you can see we did, we pushed a little bit of voltage into this battery, but this battery is uh, very, very dead. <laughs> so we also have the lead acid mode, which again, we have normal and AGM. So you just wanna use for lead acid batteries normal and any AGM style batteries, you wanna use the AGM setting. And that's just for charging, not for voltage supply mode. Same scenario here, if we go back to the lithium iron phosphate, 
If we hit that, it'll just be a charging setup. Now with the charging operation for any of these two menus and the custom, you do have a charge rate setting. So this is a slower charge and a faster charge. The slower charge is typically going to be better if you're trying to rehab or recover a battery. And the higher charge rate is if it's a good healthy battery that's just in a lower state of charge, then you might want to select that. So let's go back out to the main menu. In the main menu, we have language selection. We have date and time, which we can set. We have our version information, which if there are updates, you can always go in here to check and see that your unit is at the latest level. If we continue down the menus, we have a calibration function. The calibration function is used before you put the tool in service. Basically, you're going to hit OK, go into the calibration menu. The calibration menu is going to ask you to connect the two cable ends together and then hit OK. That will calibrate the cables for short detection and all other safety related functions that the tool has built into it. We also have a reset button. So if you want to erase any of the learned settings that are stored in the memory of the unit, you can do that. And then lastly, we have the output line settings. This is specifically used for setting whether you are using the shorter cables or the longer cables. Again, there is a normal voltage drop that occurs when you use a longer cable versus a shorter cable, and the unit has been calibrated and designed to compensate for that when using either of the two lengths. So you just want to make sure this setting is correct. We have the longer cables connected, so we have the correct setting selected. So that actually summarizes all of what we have for features here on the tool. Again, we would encourage you to thoroughly read your manual as there's lots of important information in there. So just wanted to thank you for watching our walkthrough video and explanation on the new Topdon T120A. Get with your local distributor for more information about the product. And thanks again for watching.